Okay, so I'm going to make a box tonight, actually. Um, I am in love with the Fruit Basket Suite. I mean, totally in love with it. Of course, this is my uh, free tutorial for everyone that places an order with me this month. It's also an online class um, if a customer or if if you want to order instead of placing an order. But I, I absolutely love it. I swear, it's just so stinking cute because of the punches. So I decided I'm going to make a box. Um, and we're going to be using the 12 by 12 or 6 by 6 paper that matches the set. Uh, and I'm going to use the apple and pear piece. Although I have to tell you that my most favorite is the pineapple one and the kiwi and this striped one on the back of, of that one so it's a pretty fabulous pack of paper so this is the pattern of paper we're going to use um, although my heart wants to use the pineapple paper but I've already used so much of it that I'm down to just like a few sheets left of it um, and y'all will see the card next week of why I'm almost out of that pattern. Um, okay, so I told you what stamp set. The colors of ink we're going to be using is Early Espresso, Lemon Lime Twist, and Crushed Curry. Can I? Uh, yes, I will show you how I store my blends. And I have a link to these on my website. It's this is a new set that I'm going to be giving away next month. Um, so. It holds every single one of them that we currently have. It's a 6x6 six six Essentials Art Bin. Yeah, that's it. And if you go over to my website, um, well, just, I'll, you know what, I'll give you the link afterwards because I have, I have a link to Amazon where to get it. Or you can get it at Joann's. Hey, Mal. I love it, too. I bought four of them because it's just the perfect size. Six by six. Okay, so when I got this paper out, I was like, well, I don't really know which uh, which pattern I want to be the box. So, yeah, I'm a little confused. I don't know if I want a Lemon Lime Twist to be the bottom of the box or if I want a Crumb Cake to be the bottom of the box. I really think, because I'm going to highlight the pears, that I'm going to go with um, the lemon lime twist. So I'm going to get the trimmer. The base of the box is, um, let me see, where's my measurement? So, seven and a half by seven and a half. So I need to open up the arm. Okay, seven and a half. by seven and a half. Okay, so now this is seven and a half by seven and a half. And what we're gonna do is score it at two and a half inches on all four sides. I'm gonna use my stylus from the Simply Scored Scoring Tool. I normally use that to score, but um, I don't want to get one more thing on my desk. So, two and a half. And like I said, two and a half on all four sides. Okay, that's good. Yay. Now, this box, you can use it with any paper that you have. I mean, any for the lid, I should say. So this is six by six, and um, so I just, I'm using or making this box because I wanted to showcase the six by six paper, and since we have a couple fabulous packs in the Occasions catalog, I thought it was kind of fitting um, to do so. Okay, so normally when I make this box, I get my ruler and my stylus out, and I get all technical about doing it, but tonight, I'm just going to say I'm in a lazy kind of mood. And so I'm just going to fold this score line to this score line. So if you were in a hurry, 
and you needed to make this box really quickly, this is what you would do instead of getting out the ruler and the stylus. Same thing, so I'm gonna do this in all four corners. You just wanna make sure that your uh, corner stays nice. Okay, so I have all those done. Now I'm gonna place this on the trimmer and I'm gonna cut from here to here. And so I'm just gonna remove this piece. Well, let me show you. Hopefully I'm in the camera view. I am, aren't I? Whack, okay? So that's how it's gonna look. Now I'm gonna do that, that's trash. So I'm gonna do it on all four corners. I'm trying to line those up, the points up with the track. This box isn't small, actually. Um, I have the candy beside me tonight, so that way I can um, I can show y'all. Okay, so here's the box. It's just like that. So you don't actually have to use any adhesive unless you want to. So we're gonna set that aside now because that's our box. And then now we're gonna do the top. And I have my template here so that I don't mess up. So we're gonna cut the designer series paper. It's measure six by six and we're gonna cut it down to measure five and three quarters by five and three quarters. That's scary. Wow. Five and three quarters. By five and three quarters <laughs> thank you okay um, now we're gonna score it at three quarters of an inch on all four sides and I'm gonna use the three quarter over here because it's a little bit easier to see and hold the paper there let's see I'm gonna use the wide tip so three quarters Again, on all four sides. Um, okay, now I'm gonna score it at one and a half on all four sides. So this time I'm gonna use the one and a half over here. So 32 degrees, is that is that 32 degrees in um, like United States numbers? I don't know Celsius. Okay, I'm gonna get my bone folder real quick. It's around here somewhere, there it is. Oh my gosh, you have 80 degrees. <laughs> Sorry, that was a little dramatic, wasn't it? I'm serious. I am ready to move. I ha I'm anyone that has warm temperature right now, I am so jealous. Like seriously, y'all have no idea how brutal it is and how miserable. <laughs> I really don't like I really don't like the winters at all. Okay, so now we have and it's hard to see on this paper, but I'm gonna show you the template, okay? So here's, here's how it's gonna look once we cut it. Um, so, all you wanna do when you're looking at this is don't touch this 
little square because there's four squares here that's a block don't remove that one you're going to remove the rest of them so goodness gracious these are the the really big scissors so um i need to find my paper snips I'm going to stop talking while I cut these because I don't want to cut the wrong piece off. This is one of those packs of paper I could find myself hoarding because I've used so much of it already. I don't want to waste a single sheet of it. So this could be a Valentine box totally, which I'm sure some of y'all are wondering why I'm using fruit basket and not the valentine, but I don't know. I'm just in fruit basket mode right now. Okay, so that's how it looks. And I'm keeping these because guess what? You can take, let me see if this works. You'd have to stick it to a post-it note. Hold on. So it's not the most perfect pair, but look, it's good enough for me, right? Okay, so save your scraps if it has a full pair on it because you can cut it out. Okay, now, last thing we have to do before we assemble the lid, is we have to fold that corner. Remember that piece I told you to not cut? We're just going to um, fold it in now. And technically, you could use a ruler and a stylus, and you could make it all exact, but you don't have to. This is one of those boxes that you you don't have, it doesn't have to be exact. Okay. Uh-oh, I just threw my pair off the table. So here's how you assemble it. You can use adhesive if you want to, but it isn't necessary. Wait a second, that one didn't go down in there. That one was being difficult. So let me start over. Okay, so fold this one down. Fold that one down. Okay, so there is our lid. And we didn't use any adhesive. Now you could if you want to, but it's nice to have these made up in advance. Store them flat and then you just assemble it. So here's our box, and here's our lid. Voila! That, that little bowl I showed you guys was really just a little bit of the candy. So um, if I take the lid back off, so if you want to assemble this, you just put adhesive here. Well, let me do that for you. Where is my fast fuse? I don't know if y'all can see me with this big old box in the way. Okay, so you'd still need more adhesive, but this is as far as I'm going, just so I can show you the candy. So that's the mini Kit Kats. This is the mini Reese's. Um, the Snickers. The little nerds. So, which one of y'all just said earlier that this was a small box? It is actually not, because look at all that I fit in there. Okay, that's probably taking it a tad too far, but that holds a lot of loot. Yeah. <laughs> it is a great size. Okay, I'm gonna get the candy out of the way, and now we're gonna decorate the top. So, um, let's see. I need some Whisper White cardstock. Okay. 
I'm just going to cut this down to measure three inches. That just gives me something to work with. I'm going to, what am I doing? I have to think for just a second. So I'm going to take the one and three quarter punch and cut out a circle. And then I'm going to stamp. Now, I've stamped with this thing a lot, so I finally figured out, really, the best way to get perfect pairs. Don't that sound funny, how to get perfect pairs? So here's what you do, because I'll tell you what my dilemma was, was this little Dumaflatchy right here, which is the stem of the pear. But if you're like me and you got terrible eyesight, it's kind of hard to figure out where to line this thing up. So, if you stamp the outline first, well, the stem is really easy to see if you can stick your head in there. I, I don't want to stick my head in the camera because it's in a bun again. Y'all going to get sick of hearing me say that. I'm going to bring it closer to my face. Y'all can see my hair. I know. It's okay. It's not the end of the world, right? Um, now I'm going to take crushed curry and I'm going to stamp the solid part of the pear right there. I need to clean this. That was a lot of candy, wasn't it? I give, I give it to David most of the time. I can't eat any of it. Well, some of it, but not much. You're going to love it, Rhonda. Okay, so now I'm going to take the lemon lime twist. This one was my dud one. So here's where the magic happens, is the little pear punch. So look how perfect that is. Well, I say that, come on. I'll hold it up. See, it's so cute. And when you use the punch, it doesn't actually punch the outline out. So you could, if you wanted to, stamp the outline on here and then um, pop these up on, over top. But I don't really need the outline for, for this one tonight. So Isn't that cute? Now we're going to stamp the greeting. So I'm just going to use happy birthday um, and this says happy birthday to you so I'm going to take half of a post-it note and cover up the to you since I don't want to stamp that part ink up my greeting remove the post-it note throw it in the trash before I get it on myself voila Uh, Wendy, it's easy. I'm allergic to dairy, so <laughs> I hate saying that because it's like, wah, wah, but it's true. So if I want a stomach ache, I'll eat it. If I don't, I'll steer clear. Yeah, so all y'all ice cream lovers, be so happy that you can have ice cream because I can't. Okay, so I'm going to take my little mini dimensionals. We're going to put the crushed curry one. These things are so tiny. My fat fingers have a hard time picking them up. Uh, but we're going to start with the crushed curry and try to center it as best we can. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's handmade. No, you don't. <laughs> I 
Okay, now this. I paused for a second because the screen was doing a little spinny thing. Okay, now I'm gonna place the final pair. Ruh -ruh, come back here. And then we're gonna add the greeting also with mini dimensionals. But I'm not gonna add that just yet because we gotta have some ribbon or some kind of embellishment. And I want to use linen thread because, well, we have the, the colors in there, right? I don't have to explain. It makes sense. Okay. Okay, you guys can still see me. On, on my iPad here, it froze up. But on my computer screen that's over here on the right side, one of these days I'm going to show a picture of all this. It's crazy. I have a computer to the right, an iPad to the left, another iPhone over there, and an iPhone up above. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take my bone folder and curl this. Okay, mini glue dots. You haven't had chocolate in 30 minutes. <laughs> okay, that looks cute, right? And then now we're gonna add the greeting right under there. We might have to make our bow a little bit smaller. Maybe I should have added the greeting first. Well, hold on, I, I'll remove it. Hold your breath that I don't rip something. <laughs> so I'm just going to center it under there. Yeah. And then now add this. Oh, the, gosh, that's so cute. Um, okay, so now that's a one and three quarter circle. I'm going to take a two inch circle. Isn't that stinking cute? Okay, let's add this real quick. So before we get to the very end and everyone leaves real quickly, head over to my website, leave a comment on Facebook Friday 42 post, and I'm going to give this little um, goodie bag, grab bag. We made the grab bags today for the free shipping order back in December, and we shipped them all, thank goodness. I'll share a picture later on my blog, but I had an extra one left over, so I'll be drawing the winner next week for that. So we're just going to add this right on top. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Thank you for the hearts. Oh, I'm from Tennessee. Yeah, I, I'm from Tennessee. In fact, my family in Tennessee is getting ice and all kinds of gnarly stuff. The same thing that we had yesterday. So, again, you don't have to assemble the box. You can just let it collapse. Um, here's, the, here's my template. So you can see that when you put the lid on there, it holds it. So then it would just explode like that. Um, and, again, it holds a really nice amount. Thank you.